of our module which is about the maritime acting. So in this module or in this part of our module we will be talking about the latest updates in the maritime industry. Specifically, uh, we will be discussing um, who are the greatest suppliers of seafarers worldwide, um, who, what nationality is the greatest contribution of officers and ratings. We will also to be talking about why seafarers are called the Bagong Bayani and we will also be talking about the glimpse about the rate, um, salary of a Filipino master. And we will also be talking about if there will be any shortage or there will be any oversupply of seafarers in five years. So, pag-uusapan natin kung so sobra ba or kukulang ba ang supply ng seaman or mga seafarer pagdating ng pagtapos ng limang taon. Alright, so we must be proud that the Philippines remains the top source of Filipinos on board worldwide. So it is estimated that we have 229,000 Filipino seafarers at any time. So sa bawat pagkakataon, meron po um, inestima na 229,000 na seaman sa buong mundo. Because alam naman natin na tuwing may bababang seaman, may aakit din na seaman na kapalit niya. Okay, so it is estimated that uh, every time there is a 229,000 seafarer. So, biruin yun kung gano'ng kadami si uh, Filipino seaman ang nasa barco and maaaring pagdating ng panahon ay isa na kayo sa mga ito. Yes, we have discussed that there are estimated 229,000 seafarers, Filipino seafarers at any time. That's why Philippines is considered as the major supplier of maritime labor globally. And it is said and estimated that for every four seafarers, there is a one Filipino nationality. O kasi beruhin nyo yung sa bawat, sa dinami-rami ng nationality na nagbabarko, sa bawat apat na seaman na nasa barko ay mayroong isang Filipino. And you must accept the challenge that someday you will be one of those na nagko-contribute sa ekonomi ng bansa. You are earning and at the same time, you are exploring the world. Alright, so there are estimated 1.5 million total seafarers worldwide and more than 25% of that are Filipinos. Okay, that's why according to BIMCO or um, Baltic International Maritime Council, tayo ang tinagura ang single biggest nationality block dahil halos landslide na halos um, dagpas ikatlon o ikaapat ng mga siman sa mundo ay mga Pilipino. Sa so, dinamarami ng nationality na nagbabarko, ang ikaapat o higit pa ay Pilipino. That's why according to BIMCO, we are the single biggest nationality block. So it is very trend in the Philippines today um, to enter the maritime industry. So according to CFO or Commission on Filipino Overseas, Last year, there were 358,898 Filipino seafarers deployed. So, biruin yun sa kung 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 That's why Filipinos are now termed, Filipino seafarers are now, to, are now termed as Bagong Bayani. Bakit tayo tinatawag ni Bagong Bayani? Because biruin yun kung gaano kalaking remittance ang naipapadala natin at nakakalagdag sa ekonomiya ng bansa. Uh, it was estimated that um, last year we have remitted 5.575 billion US dollars. So, biro niyo kung gaano kalaking pera ang naiambag ng mga Pilipinong seaman sa ekonomiya ng bansa. That's why uh, sa panahon ngayon hindi na kailangan magbubis ng buhay para lang matawag na bayani. Dahil sa pagsakay niyo sa barko o pagiging OFW niyo, kayo na ay nag-aambag sa ekonomi ng bansa at katawag na kayong bagong bayani because you are helping you are helping the country's economy. Okay, so you might be asking bakit ba mga Pilipino ang pinakamaraming suppliers ng seafarers? Why are we the greatest suppliers of seafarers worldwide? So of course, the companies, the shipping companies is always looking for a positive qualities to, to their employees, employ, uh, employees, okay? So, ano ba yung mga qualities na mga pinagustuhan ng mga ibang nationality? Bakit tayo ang kinukuha nila ng 
uh, tao or labor. Okay, so the first one, we have um, flexibility. We can work, kaya natin magtrabaho, ano mga trabaho ang bigay sa atin. Because tayo ay malalakas, tayo kung bagay kahit kalabaw, kahit ang trabaho ay gagawin natin para sa pamilya. Another one, we have the industry or pagiging masipag. Tayo ay masipag, kung baga, um, kung ano man ang bigay sa atin, ay ginagawa rin natin. That is what you call masipag. We always want to finish whatever work is being tasked to us. Another one, we have the loyalty. Pagiging tapat sa, uh, sa amo, pagiging tapat sa kumpanya. So kung ano, saan, kung ano man ang kumpanya na ibigay ng opportunity sa atin, tayo nag stick sa kanila and you always want to work for them um, through ups and downs. So kahit na mangyari, loyal tayo sa kumpanya natin. We also have the next one, we have the English fluency. Okay, so hindi man tayo makapagsalita ng malalim na English, tayo natin makipag-usap sa ibang nationality ng English language. At dahil alam naman natin, nakapagbabarto tayo, we need to converse in English language because other nationalities do not know our language which is Filipino. That's why we need to speak and we need to try speaking in English because that is necessary on board. On board. Okay, another one, as we have um, the positive work attitude, kapag nagtatrabaho tayo, positibo tayo, gusto word natin matapos, ng maayos. Okay? So, kung ano mga ibigay sa atin, ginagawa agad natin. That's what you call positive work. At yun, hindi yun nagdadabog. Hindi tayo kung ano na pang sinasabi. So, we always do whatever job is given to us. Another one is adaptability. Kaya natin mag-adapt kung ano mang lahi ang kasama natin. Kaya natin mag-adapt kung saan man tayo pumunta, kung ano mang klima. So, we are very uh, we are very adaptive kung ano mang environment ang pupuntahan natin. Also, we have the law abiding. Kung ano man ang pulisiya o batas na pinapatupad ng kapitan sa barko, tayo ay masunurin. That is in record. Okay, so tayo ay hindi um, sumusuway sa batas na kung hindi naman ito nakakasama sa atin. So, that is also a positive attitude na kung, kung bago ka mag-complain, is gawin mo muna. We need to follow before we complain. Saka tayo mag-alaglamo kapag tingin natin ay hindi tama. And then the last one we are, Filipinos are called to be problem, uh, problem solvers. Okay, so we have the capability of solving our problems because that is because of our camaraderie to our um, kasamahan. Sa mga kasamahan natin, magandang tayo makasama. Dahil ang uh, mga problema, kapag may problema tayo, we always um, tend to ask help from others. Kung hindi man natin masolve sa sarili natin, tayo ay open sa mga kasamahan natin, tayo ay may nampayo at tulong kung paano natin ito masasolve.